There are many things that can cause the error message cannot connect to a server. If you're getting this error right now and it's making it hard for you to play FIFA 23, this video can help. Here are the solutions that you can try. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, check the server status. If FIFA 23 doesn't work or you can't play any online features because of an error, the first thing you should do is check the status of the game servers. You can get first-hand information from the official eServer status page. Next, refresh your PC or console. Some small or temporary network bugs can be fixed by restarting your computer or game console. If you haven't tried restarting your computer or console since the error started happening, now is the time to do so. Next, check your modem or router. If you're having trouble connecting to FIFA 23, a simple step you can take is to make sure your modem or router has been restarted. It's important that you unplug your modem or router from the power source for 30 seconds. After you've restarted the modem, router, plug everything back in and run FIFA 23 again. Next, use a different DNS. Most people use the domain name system that comes with their ISP. But there are times when these DNS servers stop working as they should. If that happens, it might be hard for computers or consoles to connect to e-servers or any other website. Use different DNS servers to see if you have a problem with the domain name system. Next, check your Windows firewall. The next thing you could try is to see if your firewall settings are correct. Your computer might not be able to connect to e-servers right now because your firewall is blocking the connection. Here's what you need to do. Click the Windows button, type in Control, and press Enter. In the View by section, make sure that it says Category, then select System and Security. Select Windows Defender Firewall. Click on the Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall on the left panel. Click the Change Settings button. Look for FIFA23.exe in the list of programs by scrolling down. Make sure that both private and public boxes for FIFA 23 are checked. Press OK to save the changes. Next, use an Ethernet cable. If you can, try to connect your PC or game console to the router with an Ethernet cable. A connection through an Ethernet cable is more reliable and can be faster than a wireless connection. Lastly, place your PC or console closer to the router. If you can't connect using Ethernet, try moving your console or PC closer to the router. This could be useful if the signal to your computer or console is weak because it is far away or because there are thick walls in the way. If you can, put your wireless router in a place that is easy to see and close to the heart of your home. You might also want to turn your router's antenna so that it points toward your computer or game console. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.